Hello everyone, my name is Sherry Kimmel and I'm going to be your instructor today. I teach classes out at, in Tempe at the, for the Edna Vale Art Center and have taught classes all over the valley for the last uh, 10 years. I'm looking forward to our session today and we'll be working on collage. So everyone, here we are. Collage is a French word and it means to glue or to stick together and used in visual art from an assemblage of different forms, thus creating a new whole. I call these everyday life collages because you use whatever you have at home to make your collages. The basics are glue and papers. Any kind of glue is fine to use, whatever you have at home. Papers to use can include newspapers, old book pages, maps, sheet music, magazines, old letters, cards, gift wrapped. And if you have a paintbrush to spread your glue with, that's fine. If not, you can use an old unusable credit card or gift card to spread the glue. The support for your collage, you want something sturdy that's not gonna fall apart with the glue. So cardboard is probably the best thing for a home project. Those of you who are artists and have supplies at home can use watercolor paper, mixed media paper, anything that's heavier, you know, will withstand the glues. So on this one I have a map and my subject is going to be this little bird. Now when I was cutting papers I took one look at this and I said oh it's done. Well that's too easy so <laughs> so I pulled, I pulled this out and I've got some pieces of map, I've got some other pieces of papers and I'm just going to rip and tear papers and glue them on to this cardboard. So this bird is going to be my subject. What brought that on was our walk in the park and hearing the birds sing in the morning when we're walking and it's so nice, it just makes you feel happy. I did this music, birds sing and make music, so I wanted to have that be in the background also. And of course the map, and the map is perfect. I love the map, so the map is probably gonna be more predominant than all the other papers, but that's okay. And as you're gluing, you want to make sure you, you not only get plenty of glue on the, on the cardboard, especially if you're using matte medium, then you can go over everything with it. Um, you can use a bunch of different ways of cutting and paper. You can use scissors if you want to. I like to have an uneven edge sometimes, so I bought this little Westcott ruler. It is the Deckel ruler. It has two different deckel edges on it, uh, a larger one and a smaller one, and then a straight edge. And it has a foam cushion on the bottom so that your, your ruler won't slide around. This is really a lot of fun once you get into it. So I'm going to go ahead and get this, this little birdie on here. Now I've got some different colors in here, but the bird's colors go well with this, so it's not going to be a problem. It will look lighter once it's dried. You can use black and white photographs with this, color, color copies of family photos if you have them or if you, if you have a color printer. Pictures from all different sources. There, he's done. He's finished. So now I'm just gonna let him dry. And then if there are other things I wanna add, like I was thinking maybe I might add a few more of these little musical notes here and there. I've got, uh, I've got some over here, and some over here, and some down here, but I was thinking I might add a couple more. And so after he's dry, if you guys wanna add more to it, you can. That's the fun of this, making it in such a way that you're pleased with it. So I hope you enjoyed this session. I look forward to maybe another one in the future. Thank you.